Hello and welcome back. We are just about to talk to Queen Wankaza 2 and we let the dragon just fly free and she might not be on board with that. After that we're gonna go to the brass little and the queen's birth so we got a lot to do. Justin the Kataka. Made day? I kinda want morning. Yeah, I might wanna wait till morning because that seems like a more appropriate time to just what go for go about your business. around Pariki's overlook. The mountain shakes, bellows of anguish echo over the wind. Wankaza raises a trembling hand to her brow. And a shadow, a shadow rose from the streets to cover Queen's birth on its way to the sea. Now the traders look to me for answers I do not have. Wankaza pounds her armrest with her fist. Nothing but panic and contradiction make their way to my ears. Tell me what happened. The Naga invaded the guild to rescue an ancient sea dragon. Uh, the Water Shapers Guild is a mess and on account of some snakes and a dragon. <laughs> yeah, Naga inc invaded the guild to rescue an ancient sea dragon. You do not jest. Nope. The queen blinks and slowly rises to sit straight in her throne. So his was the heart I felt beating in my city. She adjusts her posture as the idea takes hold. For what did the guild endanger my city with this creature? I will hear Myru's report. I don't like your tone, Missy. Maru's dead. No, to lose a teacher of Myru's skill while Rawatai points their cannons at us? One cousin raises her hand to her mouth. Send every bird for my master water shapers. Tell them to cleave the ocean in half if they must. They will come to Nekataka now. Well, they are powerless now. A pair of attendants uh, bolt to their uh, bolt to attention and scramble uh, down the stairs. One cousin nurses her brow and sighs. I once told Myru she was not allowed to retire while Rawatai's fleet darkened my ports. Perky captured, is not done testing yeah. me, Perky captured the dragon long ago and built a guild around his prison. Sky agreed to lend the water shapers his strength to protect the archipelago. Did he though? Did he though? I don't know. I mean, that was the agreement at the time, but we, he just flew off now. I don't think that's still on the table. Let's see. Kahanga legends tell us that our ancestors made compacts with the creatures of the dead fire. Wankaza cuts herself off and snaps her fingers to an attendant. Send for Ranga Hauhua of the Wapua tribe. What if the? she could soften the hearts of my cats, I say dragons are not beyond her. Really? As her attendants make for the exit, Wankaza leans back in her throne and considers. Speak on, Watcher. As surely as a tide swelling over the shore, I feel you are not finished. Dragon's prison wards strengthened the souls of your water shapers. All I know is that anyone who learned water shaping here leashed off the dragon's soul. Yep. Then Pariki's students had an advantage in their lessons, I say, and Myru's after her, all at the cost of this beast's freedom. Wankaza well, raises her brow. If water shaping is not as our ancestors taught it, we cannot reckon how much of the original form we have lost. A sinking feeling accompanies her thoughts, as if Wankaza feels a, a vast veil of uncertainty opening beneath her. What became of the dragon, Watcher, if the power of this beast strengthened our guild? I set him free, who had a major negative? Well, I'm nothing. I left him as I found him. For what are you lying to me? What have you done? She shakes her head slowly. Forgive me, Watcher. I misheard. Uh, I set him free. Nothing in Wankaza's outward bearing changes, but the silence of the rooftop garden feels especially oppressive. When you notice the searching sound of her nails in the armrest of her chair, and her tiger's glance up at you with sudden attentiveness. No! No, I say. Nagati close her teeth around your boat and Wodika scrawl your name in her log of disgrace. Ah, <sighs> now the name calling. I'm doing you a favor. And now you're just like, oh no. What's the problem? Scry hates the foreigners. I set him loose as a favor to you. Exactly. A favor? 
Amira, save me from your charity. If my apprentices struggle to learn Nagati's art, then we have no hope of replenishing the ranks. And I do not have the luxury of patience. You wanna die? I cannot keep Rawatai in check if they do not recognize our strength. The guild cannot can outlast yeah. this, but our enemies will test us beyond what we can endure. You can't afford to lose friends, Munkaza. I can be diplomatic about it, but I'm actually just uh, very eager to. This is my thanks for the help I gave your brother. I didn't set out to damage the Huana cause, Highness. Your it's all your fuck ups. I don't give a damn if we if you lose me as a friend. This is the thanks I, for the help I gave your brother. You told Aruihi of the Undercroft. This I do not forget. But my favor is not so cheaply bought. I say the needs of the Huana are not upheld. Even in desperate times, this falls beneath the expectations of the Kahanga crown. You may see yourself out. A wave concern whispers crosses from one end of the rooftop to the other. Would you simply hand an ally to your competitors, Vonkaza? She winces. An expected murmur grows among the onlookers of the rooftop garden. Wait! Water shapers have kept this city in the hands of the Kohanga. A queen cannot do this alone. She looks up at you, a deep furrow cleaving her brow. You may work off your debt to the crown. I will swallow my pride if it keeps an ally under my roof. The tension in the garden begins to ebb with the softening of Wonkaza's stone. Just kidding, I quit. <laughs> Ah, oh, I don't know. I'm kind of eager to kill you. I'm gonna say nothing. Seriously? Sucking up to you? This is all about just using me. You don't even pay me. Akira, perhaps you are wise to hold your tongue. My water shaping masters will arrive soon. And I say the guild will be stronger for their guidance. But a queen's work is not finished until she has endured all of Nagati's trials. I want a bunny mission about killing Queen Wonkaza too. I could send birds to every Ranga and rally them to our cause. But Nekataka needs more than strength. We need pure Juana fury. We need the Wahaki. Wahaki? An aggressive and isolationist Huana tribe, the Wahaki have consistently pushed back against Valian and Ruatayan efforts to expand into their outlying islands of the Deadfire Archipelago. My brother calls the Wahaki the last true Huana. He's severe on the Kahanga, but I do not call him wrong. You dealt with them peacefully on Motare Okozi. I am hoping you can make lightning strike a second time. The tribe hates all foreigners. Passing ships are attacked on sight, and explorers never make it back to the beach. Finally a challenge. Akira, and they do not like easy prey. I have hesitated to let the trading company see my teeth, but those days are behind us. Filling the seas with Wahaki war canoes will strike terror in the heart of even Rawatai's iron fleet. Wankaza smirks at the idea. Are you still pitting cannons against canoes, Highness? Cannons exhaust themselves after every battle cry. My warriors do not. I'll make contact with the Vahaki and hope for the best. Sail for the Isle of Oriokoiki and return when you have an answer from the tribe, whether fair or foul. The island lies northwest of Nekataka. There is a phrase which will protect my royal herald. Over crumbling mountains, across blighted seas. If you remember this, it could save your life. Very well. Are we ready to kill the Huana? I don't know. I don't want to be a... Damn it. Port Maya. Royal Deathfire Company. So the Huana kind of... Well, they still kind of like me. A little bit. The slavers don't like me much. 
Alien Trading Company, Port Maya, Delver's Row, Children of Downstars, they really love me for some reason. Do I do you really have the option just to like attack her like right here? Yeah, we can just attack Queen Boncazo. And uh they're just dead. I'm re come on, I can't even talk to you about the about the gullet? I offered to speak with Prince Aranu here, the Kahanga Palace on behalf of Roparu, but you know he doubts it will make a difference. Saivin at the Temple of Gaon will supply food to Roparu as long as she has means to disperse the rations through the gullet. Yeah, that, that, I remember that conversation vaguely, is that either we uh, deal with some criminal underground, or I deal with the Queen? But she's just so much of a jerk. <sighs> Got it. Okay, that's chill. So she didn't like. Come on. So so there there's a lot of posturing here, seeing powerful. I think she didn't. She didn't give a damn about the dragon being uh, a slave. She doesn't care about me. She only sees people as tools. Oh fuck that. Well, to be fair, uh, that's kind of what it goes on at the Royal Death Fire Company as well. But uh, at least those guys pay me, so. I don't know. What about the gullet? It's been a long time we've been there. And I don't know. Gather your party before we... I can we can go to the gullet, but I'm pretty sure. Is there anyone who can really arrange it? Delver's row. The whole that's the inn. That's probably not anybody. Undercroft. Talus's home, Pitley's, Anoy's home. Maybe I think one of them might be a. Uh, uh, helping a lot of people. Well, Darrow is dead. Let's go to Pitley. If there is anybody in the gullet who can distribute a lot of food and it's not affiliated to the. Underworld, then it's gotta be Pitley, I believe. Or maybe Annoy. Okay, it's been a while since we were there, and we gotta go to the wrestle. I don't know, I'm a little bit tempted just to kill uh, Wonkaza for her disrespect! Pitley, what about you? Need something. About the and Dario and his principy scum took advantage of the neglect down here to save sure the world. Some of read others that. hear stories of the foreign wealth pouring into the city. What they don't realize is most of it flows between the foreigners and the palace. Haven't we? Uh, look like I see is an option we already uh, explored. That maybe Delva's rose pets some wealth down here. That's what Dario and <sighs> difference being less. And whenever the city has been, we remember what it's like some other days. Okay. okay, we don't have any new conversation options with Pitley. We didn't explore all the conversation options, but we did uh, go through that conversation earlier. So, who could just organize? I, I don't think just regular people can necessarily pull it off. And that's a bit of a problem. That's definitely a bit of a problem. Talus, Annoy, isn't it isn't Annoy like the good hearted guy? I don't know. You must gather your party before Vin Talus. It's been a while since I explored these houses. It I suspected that this house is just gonna be like, uh, like exactly this, empty. 
the ones here. Annoy probably the man. If there is a non-criminal who can distribute the food, it's gotta be annoy. If that's not the case, well, I don't think the hole is gonna uh, volunteer. You mean the guy? Ah, I do not know you can see one law minute now the matter. Hmm. I very rarely skip conversation options, but I think we are just backtracking, and I kind of looking for looking for some like, hey, where the hell do I go? It's been some time ago, so we can go down as well to the to Delbert's row, and we can come up. I'm not sure who could be the contact in Dalva's row. So that's not good. Oh, there's an assassin down here. Maybe we can hire him to kill Queen Von Kaza. That would be hilarious. <laughs> it's the smell of cardamom that drew food. Food, food, a food, a food, a food. I need supplies. <sighs> yeah, we don't really see anything new here. So, there's no official representation of the criminals. Right? Looking for some initial. Anymore. Yeah, this is just garbage. This is the last guy who could possibly be considered in charge. There is something I of course. And he's just a traitor. Yeah, this is just garbage. That's really unfortunate. And we can't progress it with Queen One Casa. I know there's a assassin guy here. Rust. Of course you do. Never of mind. Course. Something I can do. How's it? Never mind. I wanted to hire an assassin. It would be nice if you could actually do it. No, we gotta leave. Can we leave? Oh, that's not that's not what I meant. Go to the gullet. <clears throat> so that was a bit of a waste. We now go. We now have to go to the brass citadel. Is there any place specific that we want to go to? I think we just gotta go inside the brass citadel, and then we'll later we we'll figure it out. A crowd congests the tunnel ahead of you. Is that so? Hmm? Is it gonna be a text adventure or right away? No, text adventure. Whoa, that's a crowd? That looks like a big ass rock. <clears throat> a confusing network of natural and kit hewn uh, tunnels run between the brass and the gullet. Most of the larger thoroughfares <sighs> are well traveled and familiar, but the narrower branches that spread from them are a confusing muddle of twisting halls and dead ends. A tunnel along your path has collapsed. The giant rock, its new immovable door. Laborers mill about, but there seems like a, seems little actual labor occurring. You might be able to find another way through the city, but the detour could take hours. Find a route around the collapse. Speak to the workers. The Raparu mutter among themselves, but grow quiet and avert their gazes at your approach. The Kuaru foreman glances up from a sled of palm and raises a hand. Greetings, noble watcher. We work to fix this tunnel, but for now, then, this way is closed. He bows his head. The servants of Nekotaka always apologize for any difficulty or delay. Remember that with nothing but time and water, Ondra reshapes entire continents? Ah. Oh. 
I think I can help. Antiquaru's eyes widen, but Watcher, the city given us this task. We stay working, you need not lift your fingers. Hammer and chisel, use hammer and chisel to break the slab in two. Send someone to push the slab out of the path. You do it! Really? You direct your companions around the stone with a series of heaving groans and, and the popping of joints and muscles. Your group rolls the stone out of the way, opening the path beyond. A musty wind whistles across your face, a seaborne stench of it on its breath, bearing a bleating clamor from the darkness, a cacophony of mindless chir chittering and churring, chirping. For a moment, you think you hear someone snapping their fingers. The shadows before you split and twist erratically, uh, congregating, congregating and dissolving again before resolving into a bedlam of leathery wings. Dark home is new home. There's a shrill voice before you, a screech from one of the many imps crowding the tunnel. Leave. They flock forward, hideous cave bats fleeing before them towards you, Duhana scattered in terror, leaving you to the beasts. Well, I guess we're gonna fight them. Would the Huana accept me as their leader? Because I do like the idea of uh, me taking over the Huana. <laughs> <laughs> Take him out. Oh, oh Lame's dead. What? Oh, cave bed is charmed. Can we kill it? Yep, that's it. Gotta leave. But there. Yeah, going back. Yeah. Going toward the Brasil. Uh, hmm, yeah, we got the gunsmithy. But we still have some shops to consider around here. That makes me, that reminds me of Eder's armor. It's been a while since uh, he used that. That allows him to Darn. Uh, I don't know what stand happened. the cup. I'm usually faster than that, I swear. Once. When's that bad at Orland's lap? And I've played against some real sorry folk. Maybe I'm just the sorriest of the lot. Something tells me that ain't it. The gunsmithy, powder house. Ooh, yeah, maybe we have enough, uh, Conversation skills to actually Officers launch can we actually go in there? I don't recall entering this place or maybe it wasn't terribly memorable Probably the the gun shop is not too interesting Yeah, this is more like a bar. I was just told to get out. This is a officers only bar Yeah with some Fair enough. Runt. Let's just check out Uto's gunsmithy. Uto, you got something in here? Looking for a pistol or an arquebus? Yeah. Dragon's downray. A uh, legendary arquebus, which grants dragon breath. Which is... Which is that's kind of garbage. 10% chance for the builder to suffer 10 burn damage on launching attack. But... Deals more damage as burn. Which is pretty good. So this is a weapon that's worth considering. 
10 burn damage. So you do 20%, 25% more damage, but you actually take damage 10% of the time. Damn. Well, it's not things. Uh, a uh, uh, well, necessary upgrade, I suppose. Super pistol? Now, this is more like it. If you go for critical build. Scoring hits with this weapon grants stacking 50, minus 15% 15 recovery time with melee weapons for 30 seconds. What? Oh, interesting. So you can use this in combination with a melee weapon. That's... That's... Cool. A Dragon's Dower is okay. But... Not particularly interesting. I think it would be an upgrade, somewhat, but yeah. That kind of depends uh, whether that ten burn damage you take is is pure damage or is that uh, goods and supplies. Take a look. or does it get further removed by uh, like reduced by your armor? Yeah, I don't really value health regen that much. So, I just bust in here. Hey, Powder House Guard. I still can't let you through. Come on, I can't get into that much trouble. Now, not when this place is all so well guarded. All it would take is one stray flame, one errant spark. He catches himself and stops, shaking his head. No, I'm sorry, but you really don't understand. I understand. What? I still can't let you through. I don't have enough bluff. I'm pretty sure I have like, like, five bluff plus the bonuses. Five bluff plus uh, the fortress protect you from the party members are at least giving me five more. Damn. Try to do the sea and surf and strike it down his pole. We can just go inside. <laughs> the mechanic. Do they have guards inside? Oh no. Is this place just completely disappointing? I hope not. I plan to come in here for a long time. Stop right there. The powder house is closed, except to officers of the Royal Deadfire Company. She looks you up and down, vexed and suspicious. What are you doing here? Sorry, I'll, I'll go. I'll escort you out. <laughs> Damn. We need more bluff. All right. Wood. Which one of us am I thinking of now? Uh, you'll be thinking of the Watcher. That's ten in a row. That's some talent you got. Aye, the talent of noticing who you be glancing at before you ask me who you be thinking of. <laughs> Imperial commands. Uh, what do we want here? That's a good question. I was told to come here to talk about some matters. Sahumi? Support me? Can I buy some stuff you you're selling? Good to see you again. Um, can you sell me something? I really wish I could, but my supplies are for the Royal Deadfire Company and our allies. Has a Nui's order? Maybe if you. Damn. Has Nui? I'm an ally. Grand Secretary Atsura wants to meet with you. He's in his office downstairs. Uh, what was with all the black powder at Hisongo? A look of surprise passes over her face. She tries to cover it with a grunt. Noticed that, did you? Saltpeter is one of our chief resources at Rawatai. And we believe in putting resources to use. Now you can see why we didn't want the Valians nosing around our fort. Did you get Queen Vonkaz's fruit basket? 
Her expression darkens, and she draws on her pipe. I got our message all right. <laughs> I'm really glad. Fruit basket is all it takes. All right, let's go and talk. Sparring room. So, if I become better friends with these people, uh, then they will let me actually just only buy from their special stock. It's impossible to cheat at Hazatoa. Atsura? Oh, that's just cool there. Like he's gonna do one thing. Clear skies. He tells his head as he watches you, his eyes unblinking. What exactly is the Brass Citadel? You seem different from the rest of the Royal... What? Isn't the one... How do you mean that? Uh, never mind. As you wish. Aren't you the one who That's I'm supposed strategy. to be talking with? And don't you work for Atsura? I'm pretty sure that you are. I, I was supposed to talk to Atsura. There's no one else named here. Tsura. Clear skies. Why have the dumbest questions? It's a trading post, of course. Anything we already had this thought. Building is worth protecting. It's a trading post. Rawata the Valley. We learned the. It's a trading post, of course. Rawata the Valley. We learned the value of. How do you mean that? It comes from years of. It's a trading post of I just did. How do you mean that? Rawat, none of whom. How do you mean that? Are you making advances at me? While I'm not. A if that changes, how do you mean that? Are you making advances at while I. If that changes. What? Okay. Well, we already explored those options, and apparently. Um. Sure, so he didn't want to talk to us that much. Let's see the... Yeah, Queen Wonka's asked me to recruit the Wahaki tribe. Instead, I'm gonna kill all the Wahakis and show up to Queen Wonkaza. <laughs> Say that, hey, uh, they can be recruited. I was to understand that our business is concluded. Is it? Wait. Don't I have uh, a bounty to... Uh, return to Fleetmaster Vakoyo in the Brass Citadel. Though. I can return to Vakoyo at the Brass Citadel in Nekatak and receive my reward. So, Vakoyo... Where's that guy? I have no idea. Well, he's not in the officer's lounge. Lead master's office? Maybe he's here. Could be. Outside there, that, that is only a sailor, apparently, who... It's too good to join my crew. Rikoyo, are you here? Yeah, he's here. My favorite privateer, clear skies. You don't have to worry about a seal of wave skipper anymore. Pirates are adept at scattering when threatened. But this makes planting your boot on the neck of a straggler all the sweeter. I would keep my privateer busy. You will speak to me when you are ready for work, yes? What other bounties you got? Your target is Radolf. A valiant captain and Kill them already. let us content ourselves that some small corner of the archipelago is safe from valiant excess. Our work is unfinished, privateer. What else? Captain, your final target is Barunga, a Hawana captain of many seasons. She is known for bending nature to her will and pursuing her foes with relentless fury. I'll take it. Barunga commands the Dao Puger's Tooth, which braves the turbulent waters of the Afachina Channel, far to the northeast of Nekataka. Got it. Alright, Boyo, Boyo, uh, Bakuyo. Damn, you, you should just go by Bob. Just, just as a pre-tip for you. The last time 
my ship out with some soft. Well, we actually leveled up because of the bounty. Also, just alternatively, you can just kill everybody and like, hey, just return for all the bounties. So, we go to Queen's Birth to do one of the most important things. I'm a little bit bummed that we have the mission to kill a bunch of, uh, well, Royal Death Fire Company people. And if I don't do that, then the mission never proceeds. I can just say, well, I suppose I, I just have that. If I don't do it, it's, it's just it's just that. Like, oh, that, okay, fine, fine. It, it's, a, it's a way to gain favor with the Principi. And actually, they don't hate me anymore. They kind of like me, don't they? I, I'm pretty sure that they do. Maybe not everybody. The, the Valiant Trading Company. Now, those guys don't like me that much. I suppose you can't make friends with everybody. The factions are actively working against each other. What? It's Ishi's night already? It's harder to get out of leather than tar. This is the second time he's gotten my boots. It's a phase. He's just trying to cozy up to you, Firefly. Well, I was sneaking him some extra seeds. Can you make him target who he poops on? Because I got someone in mind. This Don't you dare. Sounds like a story. Tell me everything. Sailor who can't hold down quickie stew. You come by for a captain. We've been drink captain. We've been captain. We've not a lot of options here. So we can kill him huh? with a ice pillar. I hope I save. Okay. I just they just save. Make sure the save is safe happened. Then throw a, a giant ice on them. Perhaps we will not piss off everybody. So they are dead. Drink of the Marksman? What? That's insane! Range accuracy with ranged weapons? Penetration with ranged weapons? You kidding me? That ring is insane. Can I list by... Okay, that, that's reasonable. Seriously? Eight range accuracy and penetration. That's just insane. Why thank you, Captain. Yes. That ring is insane. Hopefully we didn't piss off everybody. We didn't. We only killed those guys. And uh, we don't have to kill anybody else. So that's fair enough. Let's see. So we mainly have a so many missions. We mainly have dealing. We mainly have a, a thing to do on dock. We can also group by classic. So this shows quests. What is this? Is, are these the side quests or oh, tasks? I suppose these are the. Side quests, bounty. Not really. Because the bounty missions are still related to the. to certain factions. Evades in fire. I don't know, I kinda like both because you kinda know where to go. That helps. Fuck, my little privateer. You have news for me? Yeah, I'm hunting Ween. So dark. Should we just wait till morning? 
rest till pre-dawn. Let's rest till, well, wait till morning. Cobbler? Whoever said a good, of course. Yeah, this is uh, bad. Can we go that way? Oh, I totally assumed that you can just go down, but yeah, that's not the case whatsoever. Alright, so where's this ship that's uh, supposedly heading out? We missed it. We did? They're gonna park that thing next to Aethys and slit their own throats. Yeah, that's a pretty good guess. I wish they'd gone ahead with it before they got Baron involved. If we can't catch it, can you promise me we'll go right now? Yeah, we'll go. I knew there was something I liked about you. We can go right now. Get to the vanguard, pursue the lighted path ship. So... They're tracking Yota, surely they will head north and follow his path of destruction. So we don't exactly know where they are. Other than they are going north. So... Time to head out. But, um, I just call it for now. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.